Want to see the cutest birthday card ever? Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I am sharing a really cute birthday card. I'm doing something I haven't done in a while that involves shimmer spray, but in the end it turned out really cute and well, I'll just stop talking and you can decide. Is it the cutest ever? Is it? I... That video is coming up next. It is the cutest though. Dan, do you think it's the cutest? What is the cutest? The card that I'm gonna do today? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna show up or not. Here's a look at the products I'll be using for today's card. And it was all inspired by this heart balloon bunch die. And I'll show you the size. So actually it's pretty close to actual size on front. I think this will be so cute on top of any note card. I haven't decided what greeting I'm going to use, but I'm just gonna create a really simple blend of rainbow color and I'm going to cut it out to fill in and sort of paper piece the balloons. I think it'll be cute. So let's get set up for ink blending. I wanna show you this fun little uh, stencil buddy mate thing and I've started using it with my stamp and stencil mat, mostly just to protect the outer edges of my mat so you don't have to worry about cleaning. Now, for what I'm doing today, it's not that critical because I'm not blending edge to edge, and I always put this on a piece of tonic grip mat just so that this doesn't slide, but then your cardstock just goes right in the opening like that. Isn't that fun? Now here's the thing though, here's what I don't know, and I actually think, you know what, I'm gonna just turn it. I'm gonna turn it this way because what I wanna do is figure out how much space I have to blend in. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I will just say, oh, I'm gonna take a pencil mark here, and here, and here, and here. That just lets me focus in on the area that I want to use. Now, let me grab I guess I'll start with my red brush and I'm going to clean it off here just on my paper towel just to get whatever color I was using last time. All right, that looks good. And yeah, I might not even have enough. <laughs> this is really small. I probably could use smaller blending brushes, but sometimes I enjoy the larger brushes. So let's just do it. We'll come in from the outside here. Let's get you closer and yeah, I guess we'll just we'll just come from the outside. I'm just creating a rainbow, so I'm gonna put some music on and you can watch the magic ensue. The blend looks great. We're gonna let that smooth out and move on to the next step. Actually, I have something off to the side here to show you. Simon has just released another 12 of our cubes and I just used celery and lemonade and cantaloupe. So if you are looking to get ink cubes or just get in, we have two more color sets added to the family of cubes in the positively saturated inks. All right, moving on. I'm gonna try something I haven't used in a while, and that is this iridescent spray, because I want my things to have a shine, and I'm not usually very good at this, but let's see here. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna start up high. And even if a little extra globbies come down, I think that's fine because it's going to be a little shimmery and I think I have enough on there. I'm looking at it. Oh, that looks good. You can't see it yet, but it's going to shine like the Chrysler building. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the white outlines out while I let this dry. Before I glue things together and while I'm still waiting for this, and I don't know, can you see the shimmer now on it? Ooh, it's shimmery in the light. Okay, 
I'm going to stamp my greetings. So because this is a birthday card, I'm going to use this stamp set, which is called Elegantly Modern Greetings. Okay, and I'm going to put my birthday here, and I'm going to choose the greeting up top, wishing you the best. Bring that down a little in the corner. Pick this up. Reposition. And I'll go ahead and make sure those are pressed down, but also prime. And I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Anti-Static Powder Tool just to remove static and oil from the cardstock. And I'll use my Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. Nice coating on there. Bring that down. I'm going to use my stamping pressure tool, my bug, to just let that ink transfer. Pick that up, place it right back in the corner, and hit it one more time. and hope that is right in the same place, which I think it is. All right, transfer. Like that. I'm gonna get my Protect the Manny clothespin, and I'll bring in my little powder catch here. Pick that up, hold it there. And I'm just gonna use some gold powder for my greeting. This is Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Gold, just the regular gold powder. And let's see, we'll just sprinkle it on. Like that. that looks good. That is going to be good. All right. All right. I'll get that back in the jar and we'll move on. If you have any parts that stuck to your paper, sometimes I'll do the little tap. Actually, that just took care of most of it. I have this little angled shader brush and I just like to keep it on hand to get anything that I don't want to be part of this. Even here, well, let's put this down inside the A, or inside the Y, there's a little extra. You can just tap sometimes and pick up that little extra bit. Okay, I'll get my heat tool and we'll melt this. Now I have my nice shiny greeting. I will cut this out with the coordinating die and I'm going to use a Simon Says Stamp sentiment label to cut out the top part. All right, I've got this die into place. I actually decided to use the Gina K Design sentiment strips because that seemed to fit this perfectly. So I'll go ahead and cut these out. I want to show you something. I was really struggling to get these cut properly. So I resorted to the old template method where you cut out of a different color of cardstock, frame it out, tape it into place. Then in theory, what you do, and I'm just showing you with my little uh, mini Sizzix trimmer, then all you do is line your die up inside your opening where you kind of feel it lock into place. And once it's in, hold it tight. <laughs> this seems like a lot, but trust me, I just thought maybe this isn't my day. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this greeting. I could not just line it up on my own and eyeball it. Okay, so I'm really holding this into place. I don't want it to shift. I should have, yeah, it's so weird. Sometimes it happens. So I just wanted you to know that like all of these efforts, I was just way off. Can you see that? How high I was on the top? I just couldn't figure it out. But the good news is, is I can use these as dimensional layers. So let's see if I get it this time. And if not, we're going with whatever comes out. All right, popping it in, running it through. Okay. 
Sometimes I just love this little machine for just little quickies. And then we'll just pop you out and hope that it's a little better. Is it? <gasps> That's what I was looking for all along. Oh my gosh, why did that take so long? So just a little heads up, if you are struggling with any dye, make that template, right? Make that little outline template and it's gonna help you cut. So I am going to actually use, uh, let's see, I'll use this layer and this layer. I cut a clean one and I'm gonna glue these things together for dimension and then we're gonna die cut. Now that I'm ready to do this, I'm gonna cut the balloon pattern out in just a second. So now that this is the sparkle is completely dry, I can position to get my rainbow color. See, that's why it's nice to have a little extra because then you can get the crop you want. I'm not worried about this part down here because all I'm going to do is keep the innards. So I'm gonna tape this down and I am going to run this through my die cut machine. Then I'm gonna make a note card off camera real quick and we're gonna start filling in and stacking up our die cuts for the card. So look at how fun this is. This is the leftover piece that I didn't have all the way, but I have an idea for this and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. So I'm gonna set that aside. And now what we're gonna do is just figure out the arrangement. So I've got my note card. This is going to be placed down first because I wanna see how this is gonna to come together. I want birthday to be about there. And I have glued extra cardstock die cuts. Oh, actually, I think that's gonna come down even further. And I actually think, I think that's gonna be a really nice arrangement. So let's glue, <laughs> let's glue this piece down first. And I think I'm gonna use some spray glue for this so that it goes really quick. So let me add a layer of spray glue <laughs> off camera when I have a mask on and I'll pop that down. And now I'm gonna place in all of the colorful fill. So let's get our little waxy tip. I'm going to use just a little liquid glue on each one, right? Just go in here and put some little dabbies in to hold them in place. Actually, that might be a little much right there. There we go. All right, and once the glue is in, then all I have to do is pick up, pick up my pieces here and drop them into place like that. Mm -hmm. The shine and the coating on this is so cool. Like I, I haven't used that spray shimmer in a while and that's, it's really neat stuff. Okay, loving it. Big heart in the middle, right there. in there. All right. Now, how cute is that? But it's going to get cuter because we're going to have some dimension. So let me first just put my brick on and press. And then I'm going to add spray glue again to the back of extra layers to build up the frame around the balloon bouquet. Lined up. It's pretty easy to do. Once you're down, just kind of shift, get that into place like that. And that's just gonna give me a fun dimension for this card. Push up. There's not a lot of wiggle room with sp spray glue. So you kind of gotta be where you're gonna be and press. I have one more layer, so I think I might as well add it because it's fun. And what the heck, you know, waste not, want not. One more layer coming. Oh, that's so fun. That's so fun. And press. All right. So now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to need some foam squares. Not for the, well, maybe not for those. I have to figure out the placement. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to take one here. And these are the Simon Says Stamp foam squares that have the thicker loft because I feel like that is going to be a perfect amount to float over the top like that, okay? Oh, so cute. And then same thing here, I'll just put one on. 
you know, I think I'm going to cut in half because I feel like I might not need as much as I think I need. So here, I'll take a little friend here, all right, get that right on the end. Like that. Yep. And on the other side as well. Like that. And then that will also float and support right there. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take the backers off. And now what I like to do here is put a little liquid glue on each foam square, just for a little float time. And I'll put the birthday, I wanna be able to see a little of the string here, but I wanna make sure this is centered. That looks about the same from side to side. I think that looks really cute. Actually, why don't I just bring this in really quick. It's kind of tricky when you have something that has the uh, dip downs, the descenders and the ascenders, but you can just kind of go like this and that should be just fine. Little liquid glue here, right in the center, like that. And actually that one would be easy to straighten like that and that just like that so cute all right let's add a little shine I think I'm gonna keep my sequins down here and just let the hearts be up there so take my liquid glue and I'm gonna use the other end of my tool here and I really like how this is designed to pick up sequins Boop. Boop. little Boop. 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 and boop and that's my finished card project zoom in a little here maybe we can catch that shine but each of the hearts, see that right there? Isn't that fun? Now it has that beautiful shine and shimmer. It's sort of an iridescent color. I like this. I think this is such a fun die cut. How fun would this be to fill in with some of your favorite pattern papers as well? Mm, possibilities, endless. Birthday card, done. Hold up, I forgot to show you the thing that I did off camera. What? I made a little matching envelope with the cute little outline. Isn't that fun to have this and then have that? Now, am I th putting this through the mail? No, I'm not gonna put it. Well, if I put it through the mail, I'm gonna put it in another envelope, but I was thinking more for someone that you're handing the card to so that then you get this fun little shimmery piece that matches beautifully with the card project itself. Okay, now we're done. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here with another card project soon. To see a few more birthday card ideas, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.